Hello everyone, this is Professor Nelson from Electronics. Today we're going to watch a very interesting and useful video. Since many of you probably have several LED bulbs at home, like these here, which might be damaged. They probably have different wattages, sizes, or shapes. Well, this time we're going to learn how to extend the lifespan of our LED bulbs. So they don't burn out, like the ones I have here. And so they can last much longer. And while we're at it, we can learn a little more about electronics to understand how electronic components work. So, without further ado, let's watch the video. Alright. Now before making the modifications to our LED bulbs so they can work for much longer. We first need to understand why LEDs tend to burn out. One of the main reasons why LEDs tend to burn out is excessive heat. This means that LEDs overheat. They not only shine brightly, but also get quite hot. That's why they're placed on a heat sink. And even then, LEDs often overheat considerably. So who is it that makes the LEDs heat up like that? Well, that's the current. The current flows through each LED and allows them to shine brightly. However, it not only does that, but it also makes them quite hot. Therefore, if we control the current flowing through each LED, we can control the heat each LED dissipates. And in this way, we can extend the lifespan of these LEDs. Now, to understand this, let's look at an example. Here I have a common LED, and we're going to use it as an example. I also have two resistors with different values. Here I have a 1 kilo ohm resistor, and here I have a 3 ohm resistor. As you can see, they are very different values. Now, what resistors do is limit the current that passes through them to other components, in this case, to the LED. Now let's see what happens if I put one resistor or the other with our LED. For this, we'll use a 12 volt power supply. Negative and positive. Pay attention to the LED. And as you can see, it shines without any problem. And the LED will stay lit for a long time since the resistor has a fairly high value. It's 1000 ohms, so it allows very little current to pass through, just enough for the LED to shine for a long time. Now, if I change this resistor for one with a lower value, like this 3 ohm one, the current that will pass through it will be quite large and will cause our LED to overheat excessively and burn out. Keep an eye on the LED. They saw it, it barely shone, and then it burned out. And that's it. Our LED is no longer working. Therefore, if we allow too much current to flow through the LEDs, they will overheat and burn out. So, what we are going to do is replace the resistors on these circuit boards. This will allow them to last much longer. Let's do that. Alright, time to replace the resistors in our LED lights. Now, which resistor? For example, on this board I have one, two resistors. And on this one I have only one resistor. So, which resistor do I need to replace? Well, let's look at this one first.
On this board I only have one resistor, and it's this one. I need to replace this one with a higher value resistor. Since there aren't any other resistors, it's simpler. This resistor works with this integrated circuit. That is, together they control the amount of current that passes through each LED. But in this case, we only need to focus on the resistor. We will have to replace it with one of a higher value. In this case, we're going to increase its value by 30 or 50%. Try not to double the value shown on the resistor. It could be a 2 ohm resistor, a 2.2 ohm resistor, or in the worst case, a 3 ohm resistor. That's all for this board. On this other one, we have two resistors. Here we can see that our 2 has a fairly large value. A very large value. But this one here is 2.2 ohms, a fairly low value. And the integrated circuit is very different from the other one. However, it also has a resistor right next to that integrated circuit. Therefore, this resistor, along with the integrated circuit, controls the current passing through all the LEDs. And as in the previous case, we have to increase its value to at most double the value shown. This one, just in case, is 2.2 ohms, and we're going to use it in the other LED bulb. However, before making the change, let's verify how much current passes through each LED. So let's do that, and then change the resistor. Very good. Now let's verify the current draw of this 5 watt bulb. For that, we'll set our multimeter to DC current in the 200 milliamp range. Pay close attention to the multimeter. As you can see, we have 109 milliamps with the resistor unchanged. Now let's test the 13 watt bulb. Let's see how much current this bulb draws. Okay, pay attention to the multimeter. As you can see, we have 124 milliamps. So that would be the current through our two light bulbs without changing their resistances. Now we'll change the resistance values to reduce that current. Okay, now let's see how much the current through our 5 watt light bulb has decreased. Remember that we changed the 1.7 ohm resistor to a 2.2 .2 ohm resistor, which should reduce the current. But let's see how much. There we can see that we have 93 milliamps. That current is much less than 110 milliamps. So we have a reduction of approximately 17, 16 milliamps, which is quite good for our LED bulb. This current reduction will be noticeable in the reduction of the bulb's temperature. That is to say, it won't get as hot as it used to. But you should also remember that the brightness will be reduced so I advise you not to reduce the current too much. Between 30 and 50% at most is more than enough for your bulb to last a long time. Now let's see how much we can reduce the current of the 13 watt bulb. 
Now let's look at this 13 watt bulb. Keep in mind that if you can't find or don't have an SMD resistor like the ones that come with the bulb, you can also use another type of resistor. Like this one here. In other words, you can buy one of these more common resistors and install it. This light bulb originally had a 2.2 ohm resistor. Now we're going to replace it with a 3 ohm resistor. This one here. It doesn't matter if it's a quarter watt or a half watt. Let's put this one in and see how much the current is reduced. Very good, the change has been made. Now let's see how much the current was reduced. Very good, now let's test the 13 watt bulb. Let's see how much the current is reduced with a 3 ohm resistor instead of a 2.2 ohm resistor. Pay attention to the multimeter display. And we have 84 milliamps. The brightness wasn't reduced that much. Very good. We have a reduction of approximately 40 milliamps. Those 40 milliamps will allow us to reduce the temperature, meaning our LED bulb won't get as hot. And that will make it last much longer. And in that way, you can also reduce the energy consumption of all the LED bulbs you have at home. And in that way, extend the lifespan of all the bulbs. Okay guys, that's how the video ends. Now, don't forget that if you liked the video, a like really helps the channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.